Hi everyone, it's Bailey from Warren County Public Library. I'm going to teach you all another fun at-home project that's super easy you can do. It is something called bubble printing. A lot of fun. It's kind of messy, but a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go over the supply list with you all. I bet most of you all already have everything on this list at home, which is going to be great. You don't have to go out for anything. Um, but the first thing is dish soap and then food coloring. If you don't have food coloring and you happen to have paint, that will work just as well. Um, some water, a drinking straw, bowls or cups or some kind of shallow dish that can contain the water, um, a piece of paper for your project, and then a tray. And the tray is kind of optional because like I said, this project is messy, but if you use a cooking tray, like a cookie sheet tray, that will help just kind of contain the mess, especially if you're working with some young kiddos. Um, but let's get into bubble printing. Before we get started, just make sure that you have all the supplies that you see here. You have a tray to kind of help contain the mess. It is a messy project, like I said, it's a lot of fun. Um, you're gonna need a few cups or bowls. Um, I'm only doing one color, that's why I only have one other cup. Um, a cup of water, some food coloring, some dish soap, and a piece of paper for your project. I cut mine in half, you don't have to do that. Um, it can be as big or small as you like. So we're gonna get started and do our colors. As you can see, I already have a fun bubbly concoction here. It is red, it kind of looks purple, but it is red. Um, so I'm gonna take my cup, and if you wanna measure things, that's totally cool. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna kinda wing it, but if you like to measure things, you're gonna take about a teaspoon of soap. I'm just gonna drop it in there. And then about a half cup of water. And then a little bit more. And then you're gonna take your drinking straw or a paintbrush or a stirring stick, um, anything that will actually just stir up the water and the soap together. So you're gonna mix that all around. And you wanna go until there, the soap is completely diluted in the water. So I don't see any soap bits floating around in there. I'm gonna take that out. And I think I'm gonna do blue for this one. And it does require quite a few drops for um, some color to actually pop up. So it might take a few um, experiments seeing how dark your colors can get and whatnot. So I'm gonna take your drinking straw or your stirring stick and you're gonna stir that up. And now, before um, I show you this next step, I wanna go ahead and show you, I did a little practice run with the red and so you can see the fun bubble printing that came about from it. And I'm gonna use this same sheet so that's the cool thing about this project is that you can layer colors upon layer. You don't have to do just one color per sheet. Um, you can do one color per sheet if you really want. So for this next part, parents, please help me reiterate this. This is a very important part. Be sure, blow out only, not in. So here we go. It's a lot of fun, it makes a lot of fun noise. Um, now, I think I might have used just a little bit too much water because it's not showing a lot of color up there, but I'm going to go ahead and test it. Like I said, this is really, um, you're just doing a bunch of test trials here with this project, so see, nothing really came up from that one. Another trick that I did learn just from experimenting with this project is after you already have the bubbles blown up, you can put food coloring on top of it. You can see how it kind of gets in those bubbles right there. And then I kind of stir it up just a little bit more. See, it's really hitting those bubbles now with the color. And then blow out again. And we're going to press, press, press. We got a little bit right there. And then those will eventually pop. You can blow them away. If you want, sometimes it's cool when you blow them away, the bubbles will come back onto the page and land in a different spot, which is kind of neat. So you're just gonna keep starting it up. I'm gonna do a few more. 
And if you don't have food coloring, this is still just a really fun science experiment that you can try at home with just soap and water. Experimenting with the bubbles and only blowing out of your straw, not sucking in dish soap. And uh, you may need to, like this one's starting to lose its color, I think a little bit. So you may have to add blue or whatever color you're using in there later. But essentially, this is bubble printing and that is what it will look like. All right, I hope you all had fun with that project. I know I did. It's always so much fun creating a mess whenever you can, you know? <laughs> um, but with that project, like I said in the video, it is a lot of trial and error. You're gonna be experimenting a lot. It's not gonna always be perfect, but that's art. Art does that, and it's so great sometimes because some of the best art comes from the biggest mistakes you make. So embrace those mistakes, let it happen, fill the page up with as many bubbles as you can. I hope you all share it with uh, Warren County Public Library so we can all see your beautiful creations. And I will see you next time. Y'all have a good day.